Uh, there's quick, uh, quick feedback on the midterm. Uh, this uh, will help you for the either for the, uh, the the optional retake of the midterm or the final. Uh, will be uh, important for both. Uh, first of all, let me say uh, that this uh, midterm, these essays. Uh, I'm mostly going to talk about the essay uh, questions, and that these essays were were better than essays that I often see in this uh, sort of a uh, of an exam. Uh, uh, particularly well uh, was done those essays about the triadic model of freedom. It's nice. It's uh, it's, not, it's nice focused um, topic. So certainly uh, so there's so much uh, there's so much to say uh, about it, and you can you know you can say it all. Um, some of the other essays are a little bit more. Uh, the one that I was less excited about oftentimes was the one of what is a political ideology and why isn't uh, democracy the democracy or nationalism or uh, you know, why is religion or, or, or political philosophy a uh, political ideology? So uh, <clears throat> those of you that attempted that, uh, you know, certainly what I'm looking for there is uh, I'm, I'm looking for, 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 for what we took away from, from, from class about that. You know, if I, you know what are the uh, four parts? What are the four uh, functions that are performed by political ideologies? Remember, uh, you know, you've got, what, what was it? See if I can remember them. Explanation. Right, evaluation, political program, and orientation. Um, you know, how do they perform those functions? You, know, you can give a couple of little examples about them. Uh, uh, the other thing is when you when you came to explain about the sort of nationalism or, uh, or was it political philosophy and religion, uh, there was very little really taken from from the textbook or taken from the discussions that we had. Oftentimes, uh, certainly if you if you got an A. Uh, or a high B for that, right? And that was a that was a good uh, a good essay. But oftentimes, uh, that that wasn't the case, particularly for those uh, political ideologies, right? Um, there was a lot. Some of, a lot of them were too general, um, you know, and, and some of them sort of felt like really hadn't taken anything at all from from the book. Uh, that's definitely what I'm looking at here, right? I'm definitely looking like what have you taken away from the class? Tell so tell me everything that you know that you've taken away from the reading. Uh, or from in, in, in class, chiefly from the reading though. Uh, by far the biggest improvement that could be made generally is just more, uh, more from the reading. Now, um, I recognize, right, that that's one thing, it, I don't think it's impossible, right, but it's, it's one thing to ask you to do that without the book. Now, in these upcoming exams, you have the book. Now, uh, you know, we can definitely expect, right, we can definitely expect to see a lot more references specific references to part of the text that you then explain and use to answer the question uh, so so that that's a more of a sort of a general comment across all of the different uh, essays there, there were none where i thought oh, they've used the book too much here <laughs> right, which is in some ways understandable right? there's a, a certain level that as a as an instructor i expect uh, sort of a certain not level necessarily but a certain amount right of, of material from the book that i expect when i'm asking you to to sort of remember what you can, uh, you know, recall is it's difficult uh, to just recall like specific things from, from the book. And so uh, if you had quite a bit of that in there, then then you did very well. Uh, we should have something in there, but uh, as we switch now to a different model where you, it's open book, uh, we can expect a lot more, right? We can expect a lot uh, of references to the text. You know, I want to see you taking stuff away from the text. I want to see that, that you're reading in, for this class whether you've come to the classes or not, whether you watch the videos or not, uh, and if you're not watching this video, then this is not going to get to you. But uh, you know you, that you are now better able, because uh, for me, if you're if you're citing uh, the, the the writers of this text, then you are better able, uh, better able to answer these questions than you would be at the beginning of the class, right? Uh, that's what I'm looking for, and, and the way I judge that is, you know, have you have you taken specific things away from the book? Uh, from the text that you're that you're actually using to answer questions, uh, and so uh, again, this is a sort of a general feedback. Uh, generally, we could have seen a lot more from the textbook, uh, but I'm expecting even more now uh, that we have the book in front of us. Right? So, and you have a long time to do it as well. You have a week, so uh, expecting much, much more uh, in that sense. And so, that's one thing to bear in mind as we go forward here and take this this retake and take the final that. You know, the grading of the of the of the essays it's not going to change very much right that I'll, I'll i'll use the same standard that i used before and so you have like the opportunity to do really well here right because you've got the book in front of you uh but i know 
I, I guarantee that that some of you, even with the the ability to have the, the book in front of you, uh, you won't bring in very much from the text. And that's, uh, you know, the, in some ways, that's very easy for me to to give a lower mark to there, right? Uh, especially since I'm making this video. So uh, please, you know, I, I want every single person to do well. I want you all to get A's, A pluses. <coughs> and that's entirely possible. <coughs> but you do have to take the time to answer the question thoughtfully, to use the, the stuff from the book appropriately, and to, but you know, most mostly just to use it, you know, just to get it in there, uh, to show that you've, you've had a look at the book. Um, I hope it's not asking too much, uh, particularly when, you, when I'm not asking you to memorize it this time, um, but just to employ it in a, in a, in a good way. Uh, that's it. I think that's my whole feedback. Uh, again, those were the two most popular questions uh, that were answered by far, right? The, the, the triadic model of freedom, which I think was on the whole done well. Uh, and I think because the triadic model of freedom, you can't really get away from it. You know, if somebody says, tell about political ideologies, you might have already come into class with some sort of idea about what a political ideology was. You probably didn't come into class with an idea about what the triadic model of freedom is, I'm guessing. Um, and so that, that, that might be an easier uh, one to take, but obviously you know, you, it's up to you which one you, which one you choose. And certainly there won't be the same selection on the midterm, for example, and certainly on the final, on the, the, the retake of the midterm, uh, the makeup midterm. Um, <clears throat> uh, but you know, certainly some will be, uh, but bear that in mind, right? Because if you're dealing, as you will be asked to, you know, as you will be at least uh, offered the opportunity to, to talk about conservatism and liberalism, um, I, I want you to stay true to what we've read in the class. Right? Uh, you, you, you almost certainly, uh, well, liberalism and conservatism won't really feature on these these examples, but you've almost certainly, uh, well, it will on the on the on the midterm. Sorry, you've almost certainly come to class with some idea of liberalism and some idea of conservatism, um, and that's fine. But I hope that you'll add to that. Right? I'll hope that you'll add to that uh, some specific. Uh, things from the book, right? If we, if we think of conservatism and liberalism, right? Uh, things that I can remember that we talked about in class, right? organic uh, conception of society, right? Versus the atomistic conception of society, uh, perception of society, uh, you know, talk about the forgotten man, right? Uh, talk about, uh, uh, you know, the state of nature uh, from, from Locke. I think we talked a little bit about that. Talk about, uh, you know, natural law, right? Uh, natural rights, that sort of thing. Uh, that we've read about, that we talked about. Remember when we talked about the, uh, the, the computers being stolen? Bring in these specific, these specific uh, concepts that we've read about and that we've talked sometimes about in, in class as well. Although we've talked about on the videos right, since, the, since the, uh, the spring break. So um, <clears throat> the videos are probably a good place to start, uh, to be honest with you. If, I hope you don't find yourself in a position where you haven't read anything all semester and haven't been to a class. Uh, but if you do find yourself in that position or, or, or a position uh, close to that, uh, I would uh, start with the start with the videos. Uh, watch the videos. Don't end with the videos though. Like watch the videos. You'll hear some some things that are fairly specific. I hope, uh, and that should lead you to the reading, right? And should make you think, okay, where can I find this in the reading? He, he was banging on about a. Uh, uh, an organic conception of society, right, of, of Edmund Burke. Where can I find that? Oh, what is that? Oh, and then you can read about it uh, in the textbook and in, and in the reader, uh, I think, in the reader. I'm trying to think back to the beginning of the semester now because I'm talking about uh, liberalism and conservatism. Uh, but let's come, back to, let's come back a little bit closer, right, because in the final, no doubt, there'll be some sort of a question about fascism. So, um, you know, do have a look at, have a look at uh, that video. Uh, we talked about the Gobino, for example, on the video, but we also talked more generally about fascism uh, the week before. There's a couple of videos on fascism, uh, at least two. Uh, maybe there's a, maybe we did a, we, did, we also did a Mussolini video as well. So there's already a few videos uh, and they're, they're gonna mention things that are gonna be fairly specific, like the enlightenment, the counter enlightenment. Uh, you can go and look and read about those things, right? And, and, and you'll have something, well, even if you've got that open while you're writing the paper, uh, right? And you are, you are just learning it then as you're writing it. Um, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a good uh, use of your, 
use of the essay in your in your final uh, exam there. So yeah, there's some tips, I suppose, uh, for, for, for some of you. Hopefully you've got you've been reading the full semester, you've been coming to class, you've got copious amounts of notes, you've got your notes open in front of you, you've all you know, you've almost got the, the essay written, you've almost got seven essays written. Uh, right, that's the, the, the perfect place to be in, and then you just you just uh, put them into words on the exam and and, and, and you're done. And that's that should be the state that you're in if you've been reading and taking notes the whole semester. So um, I hope that applies to many of you. Uh, I hope that applies to you, in particular you that's watching me now. <laughs> um, but if it doesn't, if the other one, if you're closer to the other extreme, right where you haven't read anything, you know, there's a way. There's a way in here, right? There's a way in even now. Um, but it involves watching videos and reading, especially reading. But I think the videos will give you a, a place to start. Because uh, you'll find in the videos that I'm answering questions, right, that were uh, asked by students who were, who had read something, right? And I guess you've all read something because otherwise you wouldn't be able to do the perspective questions. Um, um, so nobody's quite in the worst case scenario. So hopefully nobody's even close to that. Anyway. I'm going to end that. Uh, good luck with the midterm makeup if you choose to take it. Remember with the midterm makeup, if you take it, it replaces your score from the midterm. If you don't take it, then, then it doesn't. Um, you, you just get, get the score that you've already got from the midterm. And then the final, uh, everybody's got to take that. All right.